I want to expand a little bit on what I mean about a cure for NPD. This is how I see NPD. This is as a sufferer, as someone who, listen, I'm not cured, just like I'm not cured of alcoholism. I have these tendencies that have been with me since I'm a child. I will have them for the rest of my life. What I mean is that it is a day by day action. It's day by day actions, day by day habits. Much like alcohol, the way I've been sober for years, it's a day by day journey, one day at a time. I wake up, all I have is my decisions, my behaviors, my actions, my choices for that day. Notice I didn't say thoughts. I can't control my thoughts. I can't control those first couple thoughts that pop in my head. We all think fucked up things, myself included. Do I still think narcissistically? Sometimes, hell yes. Sometimes, often, that's still the very first thought that keeps popping in my head. And it might be that way forever. But just like if I was thinking about boozing or thinking about doing something stupid, when I think a narcissistic thought, like, oh, I'm so much better than this, fuck all this, I think, hey, there it is again, because I know now. See, once you can accept, once you hit bottom as a narcissist, you have your narcissistic collapse, or you've just hurt so much, and all the fingers are pointing back at you, finally, you have nothing. You hit a bottom. And when you finally understand that you're a fucking narcissist, or that you're a fucking asshole, selfish, like me also, alcoholic, once you wake up, the jig is up, you know? So even when you behave this way, it doesn't feel good anymore. You know what you're doing. You know you're acting like a piece of shit. So this is my mind now. When I think a narcissistic thought, I still have them. Yes, a narcissist, even if they get treatment, if they can find 12-step recovery, which I think works, they're still going to have these natural narcissistic thoughts or tendencies, but they can choose to not follow them. They can say, hey, this is not going to serve me. This is going to hurt others. This might feel good in the moment. It's going to feel like shit later like a relapse. This is not good for me. It's not good for the world. I choose to not behave this way. Even though it might feel good, it might feel good to behave this way, I'm not going to. So you can think, I think of NPD as like, a, it's a set of behaviors, right? It's a way of behaving in the world, a personality. Well, if I'm not behaving that way, if I'm not engaging in those behaviors, acting out those thoughts, making those choices anymore, I don't consider myself a narcissist anymore. I consider myself in remission, cured in recovery whatever you want to say so and if you stack now listen one day right that's one day one day if you do that for months for years would you call that person a narcissist anymore i would not i would say you know maybe that's inside them they used to behave that way they don't anymore they've got it under control they're in recovery they're doing great could they maybe fall off the wagon someday sure it's not like that's what's so hard about these personalities like narcissism, I'll admit. It's not like booze, right? Where if I drink and I go off the rails and my life falls apart and ah, I could slowly engage and I have once in a while in these narcissistic behaviors again and not much changes in my life and you know, and it feels kind of good. But slowly, and I've done this because I went through a terrible kind of shitty breakup where someone, there was some infidelity and someone really, I felt like abandoned me. I wake up a couple weeks later and I look back and say, wow, I've kind of been behaving like an asshole these past couple weeks. I feel horrible. I need to get back on my program. I need to fix this. That's something that never, ever would have happened before. I would have just kept thinking, what else is wrong with this fucking world? How can I manipulate? How can I cheat? How can I steal? Who can I use? Who can I take hostage? How can I wrest what I want out of this life? No. Now, even though these narcissistic thoughts keep coming in my head once in a while, I'll admit, sometimes daily, I know what I'm up to. I know what I'm doing, and I know what destruction they will cause in my life. So when I say cure, when I say recovered, that's what I mean. It doesn't just go away. Yes, you're right. You can't just cure a narcissist. They're going to have these thoughts. They're going to have these ways of thinking that ingrained since they were a child. In my case, I developed because I felt all alone and had these horrible emotions and I, something in me flipped, you know, and I saw myself as the center of the universe, everyone judging me, and I had to turn that around and become superior to everybody to keep my sanity, I guess. Then I found alcohol, kaboom, right? Perfect recipe for disaster of a life. But like I said, if I can catch these thoughts and engage in better behaviors and good choices on a daily basis, every 24 hours, that creates a different life. That creates a non-narcissistic way of existing at least to the outside world. 
do these thoughts still get in my head? Yeah, they do, and it sucks, and I'll probably always have to live with that, but they do get better. As these habits grow, it becomes natural to behave a different way and to think and to respond to my thoughts a different way. So, because I see them coming now, I said, oh, there it is, there's that, there's that side of me that I don't listen to anymore. I hope that makes sense. Hope that helps a little bit clarify what I mean about curing narcissism or in remission from narcissism. It really fucking works. Take it from someone that, like I said, I eight out of nine traits that uh, still, you know, deals with the thoughts, but does not engage in the behaviors anymore. So hope that helps. I'll make some more videos. I know I'm just in my car here um, charging up. So I will make some more videos soon. I just want to fire this out real quick. Talk to you later. Thanks, guys.